Okay, so now that we've got our crumb coat uh, nice and chilled, it's really gonna be perfect, nice and easy to decorate this cake. And again, it's gonna look a little rustic. This is not a wedding cake. I like to start on the top, but you're welcome to start on the sides. Everyone has different uh, methods for this. And I am gonna leave it a little, like I said, it's gonna look a little rustic. And I could have like the red velvet like this. I think it looks nice. So you wanna work a little bit fast. Don't take, don't take too long doing this. Uh, don't rush it, but uh, if you go too slow, everything will start to heat up and uh, your cake will start to get a little bit messy. So I like to uh, you know, just kind of focus. This is the time when you don't want to, uh, don't step away, don't answer your emails. Um, just kind of focus on the task at hand. Now since the crumb coat is there already, uh, it makes it a lot easier to get coverage on the whole cake. Um, and you know, those people that love frosting, there's gonna be plenty of frosting on this, even without a really thick layer. Okay, I'm gonna use my cake scraper to just clean up this side a little bit. Unlike the crumb coat, you wanna leave a little bit on here just because that's the frosting that everyone's gonna love. Um, and these, the, you know, the cake will look great. Um, you can make this look totally flat, but I don't, again, it, it's gonna look a little bit rustic, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay. And then for the top, Bring that out ledge over. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little flourish up here just to kind of mimic what I have going on on the top of the cake. Simple, light, it's really pretty quick and it doesn't have to look perfect. That's another thing. When you're trying to make a cake look 100% perfect, any flaws are very obvious. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more things with a pastry bag, just to kind of clean it up a little bit more. So I'm just using a pastry bag with a simple tip and I'm just doing a quick little squeeze every inch or so, every half inch. Uh, again, since the cake is not a wedding cake, it doesn't have to look perfect. It's a nice way to sort of hide the border between the cake and the board. Uh, and then if you want, I would just leave it just like this. I think it looks nice. If you want, you can start decorating the top. You could flatten the top if you want to write happy birthday on there. But I kind of like the way this looks. And especially the red velvet cake is looking, gonna look really great because you're gonna take a slice out of it and you get to see that red color, which is really fun. And that's about it. Simple, straightforward. It's a red velvet cake. Oh,